Listen to the Prophetic Voice Podcast with Prophet Isaiah Mokendi, unveiling the power of the word, prayers, and prophecies, and speaker.com. Visit our YouTube channel, Prophetic Voice, and subscribe. God bless you. Jesus. Father, we glorify your name. We exalt your name. For another session, you have granted us the grace, O Lord, that it to come on here and to share your word with your people. Father, be magnified in the name of Jesus. Lord, let the word come into our lives, O Lord. Let thy word heal your people, that it as your word proceed out of my mouth, O Lord. I pray that it that your power we accompany it and accomplish great exploits in the lives of your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be the holy name in Jesus' name. Good month, good day, everyone. My name is Prophet Isaiah Omokende. Today I bring to you the word of God, uh, the power of the healing, the power of of healing uh our scripture shall be taken from the book of mark chapter 5 verse 24 to 34 mark chapter 5 verse 24 to 34 and i read and jesus went with him and much people followed him and shrunk him and the certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was nothing bettered, but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind, and touched his garment. For she said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And, the, and straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body, that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus, immediately, knowing in himself the, that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude throng in thee, and seest thou who touched me? And he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, come and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. I say unto you this morning, you that you are afflicted, you that you are suffering one disease or the other or one sickness or the other, I decree into your life that go in peace, be healed, and be made whole in the name of Jesus. Brethren, I want you to know that there is a power, tremendous power, supernatural power in the name of Jesus. When the Bible told us that the righteous called him and they are saved, it said those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The Bible tells us also that he sent his word and it healed us. Whatsoever sickness, whatsoever diseases that you may be experiencing in your body, 
it is not the will of God for you. It is not the will of God that you should see that you should be sick. Okay, when you are key into the word of God by his faith, you will receive the healing provided in his in, in the gospel of Jesus. Okay, you will receive the healing provided by our Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to know that this particular woman that we read about in the book of Mark, chapter 5, verse 24, she has suffered this plague for more than 12 years. She has been living with it. It has been a plague on her body. It has been a plague in her system. She could not she, she could not help it any longer. She had visited many physicians, many consultants, many medical doctors. She has spent all her life savings on this particular sickness, on this particular sickness. And yet the Bible told us she was not bettered. She was not bettered at all. Okay? And I decree into your life today that whatsoever problem that you have going on in your life, whatsoever sickness that you have eating in your body, that you yourself you cannot perform even the medical expert the consultant after they are scanned they could not see it i declare that the light of god should shine into your life and reveal all these problems and the lord almighty will solve it and heal you completely in the mighty name of jesus this woman suffered for 12 years she was thinking she was smelling all about she was carrying this issue of blood for 12 years and on that very day she thought in her heart she said in her mind that see i must touch this man even if i may touch the garment of his clothes it means that that she had believed in jesus she believed in the name of jesus she believed in the personality of jesus she believed that jesus is the messiah she believed that jesus he has the power to heal her. So also I'm telling you this hour. I know you have gone through a lot. But I want you to believe in the Lord Jesus. I want you to have this strong faith in him. I want you to believe once again. I want you to get up on your feet. And say yes I believe in Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that you died for me. And I believe that you resurrected. That I may live. And when you believe in your heart. Then you pray with me this this prayer lord every infirmity in my life every diseases in my body out in the name of jesus out in the name of Jesus, out in the name of Jesus, I can hear you praying, I can hear you praying right now say Lord Jesus, Father, every sickness in my life every infirmities in my body out of my body in the name of Jesus, be out of my body in the name of Jesus be out of my body in the name of Jesus, be out of my system in the name of Jesus, every infirmities that have been placed into my body by the enemy, by the enemy rather through either through the dream or through any substance that i might have taken in lord by the blood of jesus purge out every infirmities every sickness in my body i push them away i push them out with the blood of jesus can you begin to pray father purge me of every infirmities of every sicknesses of every diseases in my body push them away in the mighty name of jesus Push them out, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Put them out in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to know also that many people we are following Jesus on this particular day. A lot of multitudes we are thronging about him. Yet they received nothing. Yet they could not tap into this saving grace, into this saving power. Why this woman that was just standing, that managed, struggled even to touch the garment? Is of the tip of his garment, of his clothes, received a powerful healing. And Christ immediately knew that virtue went out of him. Yes, what am I saying? I am telling you that it does not matter how long you have been going to church. It doesn't matter how long you have been you have been in the system. Okay, what matters is your faith. Do you have a faith? Do you have strong faith in God? Do you believe in the name of Jesus? Are you going to church just to to show off? Do you just go to church just to, 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 to do ceremony? It is not like that. We live by faith. The Bible says the righteous shall be justified, justified by faith. Your faith will set you free. Your faith 
yet we bring you this healing. It will activate the promises of God in your life. I want you to believe the report of the Lord Jesus. I want you to believe the report of the supernatural. Do not believe in the report of the physical. Do not believe in the report of what you see. Okay, the Bible says eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. It has not entered even the hearts of man what God has prepared for those that love him. And I decree into your life, whatsoever situation you are in, if you are expecting a baby, if you are expecting a miracle, I, I decree into your life, go into that labor room and deliver in the name of Jesus. I speak the word of life into your life as a prophet of God and I decree every bondage the enemy has bound you with, every bondage in your life, oh yeah, be loosed in the name of Jesus, I decree be loosed in the name of Jesus, I decree be loosed in the name of Jesus, every chains that the enemy have tied you with, every chains that have been tied in your body that the say that doctor says yes they could not see the baby or you cannot deliver i decree into your life begin that chains begin to break in the name of jesus power of god break this chains in the name of jesus receive your healing you that you are experiencing cancer you are experiencing a, a sort of incurable disease and that, that you have given up you have even spent a lot of money i decree into your life this hour begin to receive your healing. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Receive that healing in the name of Jesus. I want you to stand up on your feet. I want you to believe God for who he is. God is the almighty, all authority, all power in heaven and heart has been given unto him. And I decree, I speak to your situation. I speak to your situation. I speak to every sickness. Will every sickness in your body be removed in the name of Jesus? Where, wherever you are lying down on your sick bed in the hospital, place your hand on your body. Place your hand on any part of your body and begin to pray with me. Lord Jesus, I receive my healing. Lord Jesus, I thank you for your word. Lord Jesus, I know you are able to heal me. Lord, I pray this hour. Heal my body. Heal my body. Heal my body. In the name of Jesus, my body, receive the power of Jesus. Receive his healing power in the name of Jesus. I receive the healing of Jesus. I receive the healing of Jesus into my my body, every strangers, every infirmities, every sicknesses, every diseases in my body, in my blood, out of my body, in the name of Jesus. I cancel you, I bind you, and I cast you out of my body, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, my body is the temple of the Lord. Lord Jesus, come into my body. Right now, I receive your healing. I receive your healing. I receive your healing. I receive your healing. I receive your healing, in the name of Jesus. It is so with you. It is settled, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the settled, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Jesus told the woman, he said, daughter, that faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace and be, whole, and be whole of thy plague. And I say unto you as a prophet of the Most High God, that receive your healing. Be made whole in the name of Jesus. Be made whole in the name of Jesus. Be made whole in, your, in the name of Jesus. Either is your business, in your finances, every sickness attached even to your finances. Because there is, there is a financial sickness that plunges people into debt, into debt. And I release you from every change, every bondage of the enemy, every ancestral cause, every ancestral causes, every ancestral, ancestral sicknesses, every genetical diseases. I decree in the mighty name of Jesus. I nullify them right now in the name of Jesus. I cancel them out of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive his healing. Receive his healing in Jesus' name. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My name is Prophet Isaiah Mokendi, House of Holiness Fellowship. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen to the prophetic word podcast with Prophet Isaiah Mokendi. Unveiling the power of the word, prayers, and prophecies, and speaker.com. This is
visit our YouTube channel, Prophet Boy, and subscribe. God bless you. Listen to the Prophetic Voice podcast with Prophet Isaiah Mokendi, unveiling the power of the word, prayers, and prophecy.